my beautiful life. This is Soda Sunny Boy. Mario slash Snakey Land. And let's eat. Let's eat. 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 I will give me your plate. 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 One more? Uh, there. That's good. That is you. You want, I think you love the more smaller ones. Or you love one big one. I don't know how much. Yeah. I know that Ariel usually loves the big ones. That's why I gave him the big ones. And I want this one. This one? Yes. Yes. Oops. It's jumping. Mm. And salad. Salad. We have lots of salad. Mm. As usual. Salad and schnitzel. And schnitzel. And tahini sauce. And BBQ and red hot pepper sauce. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's what you're waiting for. Mm -hmm. And I'm. I did spicy tahini. It's not really spicy. Hmm? Surely. Yep. It's awesome Do you for need salad. Um, a little bit, yes. Mm. Nice. Thank you. Really good. Mm. Mm. And fresh really mushroom is in the salad, awesome. It's really, a little, little this, um, no. I will. on the salad. It's really good. On the salad? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. We love fresh, aren't we? Yeah. Fresh mushrooms in the salad. We do a lot of mushrooms in general. Fresh, caramelized, pickled, mm -hmm. or marinated, whatever. Um, well, we do. You? Not so much. Not so much the marinated one. But I love mushrooms. Yeah. Especially in chili with beans. Oh, yeah, that is true. Chili with beans. Wow. Someone wants to share with me? Um, that's a huge bag. <laughs> no. mm. I tried the sauce. Mm -hmm. Same here. You want me to put you some? A little bit, yeah. Here. Thanks. Oh, it's excellent, excellent on the. Um, Salad. We'll see. We shall see. Mm -hmm. Take salad. Tip. By the way. Mm. It's good. I know that a lot of you have um, chefs by yourself or have chef friends or very good cooks. And, that, and everyone says that you can't really wash mushrooms. And it's not really true. You can wash mushroom and they're not becoming too watery. And it was debunked by two my fa of my favorite chefs. And I don't remember the names. One is American and one is English. And they are more on the um, sciencey side of guys. You can like um, Elton? Mm -hmm. Elton, yeah. Brown? Elton Brown. You see, she knows. Because I was obsessed with him in one point of time. Because he did all the all the um, tricks and uh, he checked very sciencey. Mm -hmm. And he checked all of those ones. I'm not sure. Is the American one? Who is the American one? And the English one? So it's kind of like Mythbusters? Blumenthal. I don't know. Yeah. So basically they're kind of like Mythbusters. Yeah, they're like, like uh, culinary Mythbusters. They check it. Let's say everyone like sear the flavor. You need to sear the meat and sear the flavor. Apparently not true. Because other way it's uh, when you sear it or cook by any means the meat will will uh, like get all their juices. 
it's good to sear for the flavoring and caramelization, but not for the flavor, you know, or juices to seal inside. It doesn't really matter. That's a new fact. Both of them debunk this. Yeah. There we go. So, yeah. Especially when uh, people that say, I will sear it before I'm going to slow cook it and it will be juicier. It doesn't really matter the quality of meat after slow cooking meal. It can add to layer of flavor for sure. And it's a good idea to do it, but not because of the searing the juices. Because mm -hmm. the juices will run out. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Oh, yeah. Every time they heat. So to me it's a surprise. I thought... It makes perfect sense when you put the steak and it will release some moisture. Mm -hmm. But people Juices, think, whatever. People think that you like keep it inside. Keep it inside, yeah. Can never do that. So yeah, no, not really for these reasons. And the mushrooms, initially when you put them in um, water, they gain something like per big mushroom, something like less than 5 cc of water, like, I don't remember how much, but it's really tiny, like, tiny amount. And even if you are soaked in the water, which is like a huge no-no, for a couple of hours, it's not going to add water to the mushroom. And it's not going to become watery. They're too dense for that. Uh -huh. That's probably the reason. So you can wash your uh, mushrooms. I do it all the time. I so. don't see a difference. I like to eat fresh mushrooms sometimes. Yeah, but still I wash them. Yeah. Well, I, I wash them, yeah. Well, you can't eat the they, dirt. They have no difference. Mm -hmm. Like, I felt it in my hand before and after, it, and it didn't change. In some of them, you can yeah. peel the upper skin. Mm. If you're totally concerned. Yeah. You definitely can do... Again, peeling is not really... Necessary? No, for sure. But this can be more dusty or. Can I have some barbecue? Mm -hmm. And here I mixed it with this, my favorite uh, hot pepper paste. Thank you. The salad is amazing. Mm -hmm. I love to make this big salad because it's getting better as it stands because I have lemon and olive oil inside. And sometimes in the evening it's even better. It's picklish. It's good. I love pickles. Isn't it? And the fresh mushroom, mushrooms are great in the salad. They are. One minute. I need more salad. Uh, I looked if you need more salad. Not yet. You okay, Ari? Yeah. I'm enjoying the schnitzel a lot. You enjoy the schnitzel? Mm -hmm. He wasn't like sure if he wants it, but now... I dip the schnitzel in both of the sauces. I'm trying to master this beautiful... beautiful skill that i not mastered yet. It's to do it thin, 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 thin and very crisp, 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 crisp. Someday. I think you need to heck, to beat the heck of the meat. I did right now. Is it really, really thin, 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 mm -hmm. thin? Yeah, it was. I saw it. No. So I need to. Maybe do... you have to fry it in a little bit of oil. I did fry it. Mm. Again, just the breading gets thick. No, it's the meat itself. You see, mm -hmm. somehow it get. Thank you. Figure out a way how to make the meat not puff. Because it somehow puffed. I will try to beat them more next time. Maybe it's not beaten enough. I have no idea. Okay? I don't know what to say to you. Maybe I need to beat it, let it stand and beat it again. Can I have some more meat? Definitely. I this one's really crispy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You like crispy. Yeah, a lot. What's the secret to the crispiness? 
It's a dog bath. No! It's, it's so crispy. Yeah, it's It's gluten free. Covering like rice. Rice flour. Okay. That'll make it thicker. Yeah, much. <laughs> And a very sharp knife. I know. There you go. Yeah, it's our fault. We don't have really sharp, sharp knives. And this one is um, very old knife. Mm. We may have to buy yeah, a little bit more stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. This was him. It's good. It's so crispy. Look at that. It is crispy. And really hard to cut. Yeah. Mm. It's good. I like them. Even if our knives are not the sharpest, they still usually cut pretty well. Mm -hmm. Um. Not these ones. If you make those thin. Schnitzels. Please let me know how you do it. And, so then, and figure out how to keep it thin. Mm -hmm. I'll bore the knife, thank you. This is chicken breast schnitzel. So, yeah. Mm. There you go, thank you. Sort of. No, oh, it doesn't matter. I always pre-cut mine. The wood. I just cut, 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 and I eat pieces. I don't know. Yeah, someone asked why you're doing that. I don't know. I always well, do that. People say that's actually the right way to eat it, to cut it. No, oh, yeah, for me. You know what? I really don't like to hold the fork on my left hand and the knife in the right. Somehow I just don't like it. Maybe it's a left, left hand for you. Maybe because I have to hold it the other way around and it's just uncomfortable. It's okay. weird. That's fine. Yeah, I know. A tiny bit more BBQ? Yeah, sure. Actually, funny thing, I did it since I was little. I always pre-cut everything, and then I eat. Always, always, always. I don't know. Is it like a little child? But sure, yeah, like exactly like a little child, yeah. I did it since I was little, so... That's why I like it. See, eating should be pleasurable, if I like that. And I find that it's endearing. <laughs> like a little child. Like Ariel doesn't do it. No. Mm -mm. Actually, about Ariel and the, um, and the small pieces. You were the best, always cut all the small pieces and grapes and all of this. Yeah. I do small pieces. I know, I always cut it. I just cut, 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 and then I just sit and enjoy. I don't have to cut and cut and cut and cut. I don't know. Just the way it goes. Why it's so... I don't know. Sticky? Mm -hmm. It's it's always sticky, I don't know. Mm. Mm. Good. It's good, the schnitzel is good. It's I good. wasn't sure that uh, Ariel will like it because he wasn't sure that you mm -hmm. want it uh, now. Mm. But it's, it's good. The salad is awesome. And I mean mushrooms inside you. I thought I, I bought mushrooms, so... I know that we love mushrooms so very much. Do you need more? Mm. No, I don't like that. Never mind. It reminds me of the home, mm. like my mom and grandma did the schnitzel. Really? Mm -hmm. They did a lot of schnitzels in my... You want to make... I ate a lot of schnitzels in my day. That's pretty common. You want to make thin... Like Germans make mm -hmm. those thin schnitzels? Mm -hmm. Or Israeli. Oh, Israeli like, Israeli make it with... Um, because um, in, is, in like Jewish don't eat pork by, by much. So they made it with the. They no, make religious it with, don't eat. Other ones that are not religious eat. Sometimes, not. There is a lot Sometimes. of um, gray area that people don't eat anyways. 
So they make it with um, thin, thin cut, cut it of uh, chicken breast or turkey breast. Uh -huh. I love the turkey breast one. It's such a good schnitzel. I think it's one of the best. No, Muslims don't eat pork either. Mm -mm. And then um, Hindus don't eat uh, beef. No. And a lot of Hindus, I think, they are vegetarian. Mm. They will eat milk and yogurt a lot, as far as I remember. But you know, some. Well, it depends. Like, there's always in in all religions, the, the, they like they will say something, and in the end, they are not. Some really people religious. eat everything. Some people don't eat. Some people eat regardless of um, if they're in mm -hmm. religion or not. Everything is so uh, especially versatile. In, now. Especially in Canada. And it's so open and but in, because in Israel it's a lot of peer, peer pressure there to eat um, kosher food. True. Mm. Such a nostalgic food for me. My mom made it all all the time. It's one of the things that I asked my mom. To make when we're coming. So I guess if you keep making it all the time for me, it will also be my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> well, your childhood is a little bit more, yeah, more fl like way, way, way more versatile than we ever ate. Let's say I will ne I never ate Korean food when I grew up. I'm not sure you can get easy Korean food in Israel. And not sushi. Not sushi. I was. 17 years old food. when I tried first time sushi Ariel. Not yeah. two. Yeah. It's fabulous. It is great. Um, the, um, how versatile. And here, the like, the max is 10. Well, it depends for who. But, they, but lots of, yeah, sushi is pretty common in here. Everybody, most of people love sushi. Some kind of variation, not necessarily with raw fish, that's uh, yeah. an issue for many people. But if it's yeah, but like basic like California roll or some tempura one, that's most of the people that they like. Or teriyaki or, or teriyaki dynamite. Or teriyaki beef, yeah. Or maybe like uh, dynamite <laughs> shrimps. But this is awesome. The the, the variety is, and different cultures makes people more open minded, yeah. I find. The more you expose, the more kind of you open minded because you don't just grow in your own environment and think that's the only, there's just that way to do it. Then you kind of think, oh. Okay, especially with cooking. So yeah. and everything. Yeah, but generally attitude towards for life, me, kids. Yeah, but everything. for me, for me, it start it starts and ends the cooking. That there is a lot of different uh, aspects of cooking. Then very control like con like uh, French will say one thing and Italian say other thing and so on and so forth. Like very different. The uh, same they say towards raising children. The same attitude. Everything. The difference. Ideas about how we should raise your child. So American, see. Russian, and Chinese. You well, there's North American, and there's Japanese. European. They're a little bit different. Like every one is a little bit different. So Definitely. some so. more drastic than others. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but thank yeah. you. I think we'll finish for today. What do yeah. you do? Thank you guys for joining us and please subscribe, write us a comment, thumbs up, up us, and cheers, love and love. And remember, go to what you enjoy and do something fun every day and eat something yummy and listen our blah blah song. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, bye. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.